In this project, you're going to create a C Sharp application that contains six buttons. Each button will present a different message box. So the first one is just a simple message box in which you're providing a prompt and a title. And on all these message boxes, the title is going to be the same as the text that you see here for the button text. So that way we can tie the message box back to the button. So this first button is a simple OK message box. You're going to provide the prompt and the title. It will supply the OK button for you if you don't specify any uh, set of buttons. So it says press the Enter key to continue. The next one, you're going to add some yes, no buttons. Again, providing a prompt. Are you sure you want to do that? The title of with yes, no buttons. And then the yes, no buttons being presented. And of course, the first button is the default. You don't need to set the default. It will do that for you. The third button, we're going to add in a question mark icon. And here we're using three buttons, yes, no, cancel. Our prompt, would you like to see the details? Title with question icon, and then the question icon being presented. On the fourth button, again, we're going to show three buttons, this time abort, retry, ignore. But here we're going to make the retry button, the second button, the default and I'm using the error icon and the prompt is bad data entered would you like to try again and of course our title is with default uh, that should be actually be with default change rather than default changes more practice here we're going to use two buttons OK cancel make the second one the default but there's no icon and when you don't want an icon, you can use message box icons dot none. And again, even more practice, we're going to use an exclamation mark as far as our icon, three buttons with the third button being the default and those buttons being yes, no, cancel. And here our prompt is C Sharp in Visual Studio is really cool. I suppose probably grammar should be C Sharp in Visual Studio are really cool. Either way would be all right. So that is your project. In summary, if you need to refer to something, this is actually the, the picture that you will see in the uh, instructions, the PDF of instructions available in the Canvas course site. So you can use that as a reference as to what your dialog boxes should look like. And here are all the default buttons as the message box comes up. So make sure you set those default buttons. In order to get the points for this, all six of these must be correct. In designing your buttons, make sure you give your buttons meaningful names. Here are the names that I used, BTN MSG for message simple, BTN message buttons, BTN message icon, BTN message default, BTN message more, and BTN message even more. So the titles are kind of tied to what the text is and what each of those buttons do. And just give you a little more help on that very first button, that simple OK message button. Remember, you can double click the button in the uh, IDE as far as the design tab, get to the code. It's going to create the stub for you to handle that uh, click event. And the code you would write there would be messagebox.show. And then in parentheses, you're going to specify the different parameters. And the first one is your prompt. Press the enter key to continue. It's what we see here. A comma and then our title simple OK message box and again those are little strings they need to be in quotes. The other five I will let you figure out as part of the project. Once you have it all working you've tested all the buttons make sure they're correct the message boxes that are displayed are correct. Go to file choose save all and then close your application. Go to your Windows Explorer and find your project in this case I have message box practice open that up make sure this is where you see the SLN file that dot solution file and again if you don't see that remember to go to the view menu and check your file name extension so they're displayed so you see the dot SLN I'm gonna back out of here again and find my project I'm gonna right click on it choose send to compress zip folder there is my zip folder that is what you will submit into canvas into the assignments area for grading. Good luck and have fun with this.